And we all feel that sense of pride and felt it the night in Grant Park when Barack Obama became the first black president. But I once was quoted saying that it's not about a black president solely. It's about what's going to be done for our people. At the rate he's going, if you had to be perfectly candid, my friend, you will agree that he's probably on pace to be the first black or the first president, period, regardless of what ethnicity group, to totally, virtually abandon his own people. I'm critical of Reverend Sharpton because that's an about face. I mean, he's become this world figure now. And it seems like thinking he gets the more uh, lesson. Of the, the, the Bible lets us know you judge one's greatness by how they treat the least of thee. So to give us all this gibberish on his radio show every day, and then here's an opportunity for him to deal with the issue. Don't call him no private meeting with Barack Obama and other so-called civil rights leaders and come out of there. And now all of a sudden, well, hey, Derek, let me let me flip it to you the other way. You got folks who are aren't meeting with the president of the United States, who aren't coming up with an agenda. I asked you what he, what Obama should be doing. I'll tell you that what I think, you know, President Obama should be doing is to make sure that we have in our community health care, and I think he's doing that with this bill as the first step. And I think with the jobs program, he is beginning to do that as well. And when it comes to education, I think he's taking care of our schools. So I'm giving you some concrete examples, 